Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Malhai Silco Mold from Amazon. So, let's get started. Hey guys, so Malhai, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, reached out to me um, from Amazon, okay, to review their beautiful molds. And this is a tray mold, very nice construction, really nice and heavy and thick, but also soft. I really like this and really nice size as well. Then you have a set of two round coaster molds. Again, nice size, perfect for like a wine glass. And then you have a lid right here and it goes with the jar mold right there. Again, I am very happily surprised at, of the size of it. And this is actually a whole set and it's really nicely priced. And the link for it will be in the description below. Okay, not an affiliate link. I'm just reviewing it. They sent it to me. So this is some of the stuff I'm thinking of using in my resin art today. I'm going to definitely put some flowers in that jar mold on the sides there. I'm going to use some liquid pigments. I'm going to pick some colors. And I, something I want to try, um, I want to actually spray some mica pigments in one of these coaster molds. I've never tried that before. Let's see how that works with the resin. And I'm definitely going to use some of my Nouveau glitters. I'm going to pick one or two of them to use in the art today. Alrighty, in these gorgeous colors. And then we also, on this side, we have some sand in one of the coaster molds. I am definitely going to do a sea theme, beach theme coaster. And in the other one, I'm going to do a candy theme coaster. And I may use these jewels and gems from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go off and I'm going to pick some of the things I'm going to use in my art today. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, so this is what I chose to do. I set up one of the coaster molds with some mica mist from Tonic. I sprayed it directly in there with that beautiful pink glitter and some candy pieces. All right, so that's one of the coaster molds. And in the other coaster, I am doing a beach theme. You see some very cute baby shells, a mermaid parade stars. And I'm using this white and blue liquid pigment with some sand. I'm going to mix the sand in with the shells. And I'm going to add some white pigment and the blue. And in the tray, I'm going to use the black, pink, and white pigment in the tray. And maybe make a marble-looking uh, tray. And here, as you can see, I already put in flowers on the sides of the molds already. You have those beautiful flowers from AliExpress. And I'm going to use that beautiful transparent green pigment. Now let's see how it works. All right. So here is the tray mold. So I got the white, the pink, and the black pigments ready to go. All my resin is mixed. And the colors are already mixed in as well. So I'm just going to pour over the mold and it's going to just drip and pour directly into the sides there. And I'm just going to pour the pink right over it. Try to get a nice little marble effect. And you see how it's just uh, pouring right into the sides of the mold just naturally. And I'm just pouring a little bit at a time. And I'm just trying to get a nice, um, some nice designs, a little bit of a marble effect. And I love how it's just filling up the mold very gently and slowly. I'm just adding resin just a little bit at a time. 
and adding a little more white. And now I just want to run the stick through to make sure it all gets in the sides. Okay, so here is the coaster mold. The mica spray is already sprayed in with the pink and the aqua mica spray with the candy pieces, that beautiful pink color. It's already mixed into my resin. Just mixing in a little more. And now I'm just going to pour it over, over everything, over the candy pieces. Look how pretty and bright that is, but yet still translucent. So you can actually see through it. Like I said, I've never tried the mica sprays before, so we'll see how it works. I don't know how it's going to react with the resin, but so far the mold is perfectly doing great. And now we're going to pour a little white over the paint just to fill up the rest of the mold and cover all the pieces. Very, very pretty. And I'm just going to run my stick through it and kind of mix the white and the pink together in like a swirly motion. But make sure you don't poke your mold. You don't want to pierce it. Just want to mix it in a little bit. And I am going to, that one right there, I'm actually going to take out that candy piece and switch it out for another one because it's a little too thick. And it's not being covered by the resin, so I'm going to switch that out. I'm just going to spray a little more mica on top, and let's see what happens. A little close-up, and now we're going to leave that there. Alright guys, so for brevity of the video, I just wanted to show you I did put the flowers on the sides there and I added some gorgeous green resin to this mold and it's translucent so you'll be able to see the flowers and in the lid part I put some yellow. And here is, <coughs> sorry, the pink one I did, like I said, I switched out one of those candy pieces. It came out really, really weird looking. I kind of love it. Totally different. And here is the beautiful beach one. I put the sand in mixed with the shells. I put that gorgeous white with the blue and I used my heat tool and I moved around the resin. Yes, I switched that piece out. And here is the gorgeous tray one. It did come out very marbly like, which I love. And the resin is nice and shiny. And I really am loving the way this is coming out so far. So this needs a little more time to cure. So I am going to leave it. And we are going to go and we're going to um, let it sit for a little while longer, let it cure, and then we're going to unmold it. All right, guys, it is time to unmold. So let's start with this one. Now, I did take it out because I just was curious. This is the one that had the mica spray in it. And what I had to do was wipe it out because the mica spray was a little wet and it did eat away at the resin. Um, the mold is perfectly fine, but it doesn't 100% react well with the resin um, inside the mold. But if you spray it on top, it actually works really well. But the mold uh, worked perfectly fine. I actually kind of love the candy one. It's very different and weird. Um, but basically, it was very easily clean. Just, I just wiped it out. And when you clean it, just use a little warm water and a little soap. And here's this beautiful beach one. I love that. I use my heat tool to kind of move around that white pigment uh, to make a wave. So I love this. And it is coming out really easily. And look how gorgeous. Very, very shiny. The mold worked perfectly. Look at those parade stars with the sand and the shells and that beautiful blue and white pigment. Very, very pretty. Um, the molds came out, it, they were perfect. So really nice and shiny, I love that. And you can use either side. 
Um, this is perfect for a wine glass or a small coffee cup. And you can make matching sets. I just wanted to do something totally different, uh, two different themes. So let's open up the tray one. Let's demold this. So just get it started and just start kind of going around and pulling it down. These types of molds take a little longer to um, uh, demold. You just have to kind of pull at it slowly and uh, just have a little patience and it comes right off. And it's coming off very nicely. I'm just taking my time because I don't want to uh, ruin anything and it's just coming out really really nice and I just love the weight of this mold and wow it actually came out quite clean so that's really really cool I absolutely love this really nice and sturdy um, and look at this beautiful just shiny I love that uh, the silicone molds really do make a difference if the if your resin art comes out shiny or not and this is beautifully clear a really nice marble effect I'm just gonna put it on top of here so you could see it uh, you don't really see the pink but you do see the black and the white and it came out gorgeous and you can use trays for so many different things I, I'm thinking of putting candles on there I can use it for my crystals uh, you can use it for your craft supplies for organizational stuff uh, so I think that's really really cool and you could actually make a whole set of these. You could make everything matching, the coasters, the tray, and the jar if you want. I just wanted to do something totally different for each piece. All right, so let's unmold the um, lid. So this is the yellow, uh, I use the yellow uh, liquid pigment for this and the mold is coming out pretty easily. Just. There it goes. It just came out really nice and just pop it back in. Perfect. And again, you just clean it. It's very easy. Just cleans very well. Just a little soapy water and get all the residue. And this came out gorgeous. Beautifully translucent yellow with those very, very p pretty like peachy flowers. And then you could see the grooves for the jar, which is very, very cool. I love that. Very nice. Perfect. All right. So now let's open, let's demold the uh, last piece. So these, again, take a little more effort. And of course, these nails don't do, many, uh, don't do me any good at all. Um, yeah, I just have to take a little time. You just have to yank them down, just pull them down, not yank them, you should pull them down slowly. And once you get started, it should be easy. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I just had to get it started because of my nails, all right? So just once you get it started, you just kind of pull them down very slowly. And uh, yeah, just have a little patience with it. All, all molds like this take a little longer to demold. It's it's nothing weird about it. So, and here it comes. There it is. So it really wasn't that hard. Um, now to pop it back in again, it's probably going to take a little time. Uh, a because of my nails and B just the nature of the mold. And uh, yeah. So. Um, I am gonna put bring this down. I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want to waste any time. Let's put that down because I want to show you what how it came out. This came out beautifully. I'm just gonna like kind of shave down the bottom. I probably over poured a little bit, but look at that gorgeous. I love the ridges. It just came out beautiful. I put some uh, flowers on the outside, so there is texture, which I love. The flowers look absolutely beautiful with that green translucent resin and you see the flowers beautifully I love that so gorgeous I love the shape and the style of it and I love the size so let's see if the lid works and it is perfect it works perfectly 
I love that. I never used a mold like this before. I absolutely love it. I could think of so many things I can use this for. I'm thinking maybe even putting a little hand lotion in there. You could put jewelry. And yeah, I love the way all of these came out. I am so, so happy with them. And I love the texture of them. All right, so basically just pop it back in. You just need a little patience with it. And of course the nails. Okay, so I am really, really, really happy. Thank you so much. Um, Malhai for sending me these gorgeous molds. You could actually, like I said, you can make a whole set. You could put the jars on top of the tray. Use them for display. Use them as gifts. You can make a beautiful set for Christmas, for someone's birthday. This is just lovely. And I'm really, really happy. And I had a lot of fun making all different themes uh, for each um, mold. And I love the way this one came out. Uh, great set of coasters. I love the variety of the set as well. You have the tray and the, and the coasters and the jar. I think it's an amazing set. Very interesting and great quality. And honestly, I would absolutely give them a try and recommend them if you do resin art. I think this is a great set. So yeah, thank you so much Malhai for sending these to me. I really appreciate it and I had loads of fun using them. And yeah, and again, the link to the product will be in the description below. All right, and thanks again for sending them to me. I really enjoyed using them. Okay, so that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and my review. Thank you so, so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Give me a little like and share it. And I will see you the next time. Bye.